All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Nana, Nana episode 32. 32. Ding dong, the bitches. Oh, wait, oh, no, no, he's not. No, gone. this isn't funny. We have a problem. Yeah. We have a very real problem. This here. is a this is a very serious problem. But but the the glimmer of hope in this situation is that Nana was there for the phone call. So one, yes. she can clarify the situation yes. with him if he's like freaking out. But two, they can have numbers when they go there to beat his ass. Yeah, because that's totally gonna happen. Because I can, I can dream. Okay, <laughs> I can dream. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, both of these characters, specifically Nana and Noblo, just to clarify here, uh-huh. uh, both didn't really know what was going on with the situation uh, with Takumi. Nope. So they could genuinely think that Nana is cheating on Noblo. Sure. And has no actual reason to, uh, you know, they have no actual reason to go after her. Well, you um, know, this, just... I'm, I'm laying out the worst possible yeah, yeah, situation. Yeah, exactly. Right, then, right, right. then, not only that, uh-huh. Nana would reinforce that with her own uh, uh, kind of shame-based responses. Yes. So, that's the good side. They go and beat his ass. Oh, right, right. The best yeah. side. Uh-huh. Then the worst side is is here. Yeah. So, and 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 hopefully, 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 this does not end up being, regardless of whose kid it is, mm-hmm. this does not end up being some weird um, excuse for the Nana to feel like she has to like get back together with Takami or some shit. Well, I just said that as the shame based response. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, there's the thinking that that's what's going on, and then to have that actually then turn into what happens. I know, because that's the worst possible situation yeah, of this here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, and the then. Pan uh-huh. over. Oh boy, we got treble, treble. Mm hmm. Hmm. So, I'm going to go to the taxi. 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 I'm going to go to yeah, I'm sure. Perks of the job. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. たくみさんの言いなりなのは本庄さんやメンバーに限ったことじゃないけど。ここだけの話、みんな言ってますよ。俺たちは全員たくみの兵隊じゃって。みんなって誰よ。お、おや、でもたくみさんは。うん。いや
朝まで踊り狂って日頃の嘘を晴らそうよねえ何言ってるんだレイラさんはこれが仕事でそれでお金をもらってるんだから真面目にやらなきゃダメだよ So what's she avoiding? てることをぶちまけて日頃の嘘を晴らせばいいじゃないそうよねヤブカ大事の歌にしようかなラブバラードなんでしょ<笑>She's capable of it. She's capable right. of like really strong, yeah, channeling really strong, all those powerful、feelings. emotion with this. Because if it doesn't emotionally affect you, how will it affect the people that、mm -hmm. listen to it? Hmm. Yeah. And those are yours. You write them.、Mm -hmm. You're not having like some other writing team like come up with them. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. God, we're showing everybody. Everybody but, but Nana. <laughs> レイヤタクミダサイ、アンナスキホダイヤタタダイジョウナンダカラ。ダイジョウブジャネヨ、マジヤバイテ。パパラキョハリツイテノニ、ヨスントのボーカルのオンナ、レンのイエニイリビタリラシジャン、セキョウシテアテオ。All this is happening at the same night. パパラチ、ホントかうん。メンバーゼインネラワテノニ、ジチョウシテノオレグライヨ。Translation, they actually don't care about me. <laughs> yeah, right. タクミモキョウゼ、タイハチコントゴイタシ。Oh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 the furrowed brows. Nana chan, or a meskinakito, Hanashini Kikari, Soto Yaritetsuka. Holy shit. Ikinari, I tight stimitari, then what you hish demitari, Kake Hiki Jones in a way, Lori Jones, the Toko Jones to Kitara, Takumija Nakte Motoko, Hamarte, Yabasigirio, Nanimono? Naoki, O my Nanika Kyokasterio, Daita Yanoftari, Kireta Hadashi. Yeah, Kirene Daro, Areva. Come on! Because that's what he has said about her, right? That's right. the perspective on her he has. Finally, we're back! Okay! Oh my god. Yeah, and so of course he. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, where is she? Oh, oh what's he going to say to her? Yeah. Fucking asshole. Yeah.、Bullshit. I didn't do anything. Fuck you. She's in pain. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what this is. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. Yep, then it all makes sense. Anta, Hachko to Yarutoki Gumitsketa. Oh, Kotaro, Sk. 
けたよ毎回ああ入れる前からああ嘘つけちょっとぐらい生でああってねえよなんでそんなにクソ真面目なんだよてめえはああ何言ってんのお前真面目で悪いかよ No, but Right, yeah, 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 no, you you did everything right, but now no, it's not as just freaking out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she knows. You haven't actually spoken to her yet, so come on. Fuck yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're bringing this up now, oh, too. Oh, that's some you timing right there. You literally didn't tell him. Okay. Huh. <gasps> oh. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. I got in here. And she runs. Fuck. Oh, no, Stari Tomo. So many of my men at the God. Or no, I like more Hidoka than the name. Sorry. Every word out of his mouth is disgusting. Just his touch is enough to make her. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. And it stops the music. And it's actually Yasu. Yeah, please let it be Yasu. Please Holy let Yasu. shit, let it be Yasu. It oh be Yasu. my god, we, if it's we, Yasu. We had we had a shitty like person at the door. Now we need now we need the legend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 No no chong. Shiraneo. No. Mata lento ko itanjane da rona. Grape fruits and it's got the Huh? Wait. Yeah. What? What is that? Oh, so it's the same guy. Oh, okay. I love how now that he got his claws in Nana, he actually feels comfortable leaving. Uh huh. Well, he also doesn't need um to catch any strays. If Nana, like, you know, doesn't need to catch any strays. If Nana, like, you know, basically is able to talk and say, like, this is what happened. ごめんなさい。<笑><笑> 
頼むから Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know about the red string of fate? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. And she got a draft of a song out in one night. Yeah. Wow. Are you still running, Nana? I <sighs> fuck. God, this is this is oh, this is so painful. This is torture. Nah, so, nah, this, Hachi. this, I'm um, so sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm angry. Oh, no. uh, yeah. I, so, but I, I gotta say, as far as uh -huh. some of the things that they did that made, like, the reason why I say Nana ran, mm -hmm. I, I gotta say, I love that because mm -hmm. it's getting at the, the, it, it like, laser pinpoint precision mm -hmm. hit the insecurity that she has or multiple insecurities that she has, both of the whole situation with her own mom, but then also the way that she's been possessive of Hachi. Right. And so that it rears its head right now and how selfish it's been. And yeah, so she feels shame as a result of that. And right. and that gets compounded by the fact that yes, she runs because she's not thinking about Hachi in this moment where, when she needs her, right? No. Like she's thinking no, she's about thinking herself. And so, and, and it's yeah, great of course she runs. It's, a, and it's great because in some ways you get mad at Nobuo for saying that stuff at all. But the thing was is that when Nana freaks out, she doesn't actually think of other people. She actually lashes out at the people around her. Yeah. And she just started firing randomly. <laughs> like, like yeah, she yeah. just, she just uh -huh. started like, oh, Nobuo, sorry, blam, oops. You know? Yeah, and the thing and is... And then he's like, whoa, 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 right. hey, what and, the fuck? Like, <laughs> and I totally get it because there is a way in which, there is a way in which what she's saying could have been a roundabout way to get to give him some hope, even though it was for selfish motivations, yeah. right? Yeah. She's the, just she's just doing her thing. You know, yeah. is there is there any yeah. way that it's your kid? Ah, damn it! Why couldn't you have been a little bit irresponsible so that that way you could have had a you know right like right? You know, this it, isn't this isn't your moment to make jokes about how bro? Why didn't you just? violate her uh boundaries a little bit oh that that would be that why were you so responsible yeah yeah we have a guy over there who's abusing the 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 privacy right. and uh -huh. the space uh -huh. and the emotions uh -huh. of here and you're getting up and, on his ass about this here it's like, and, and you know that apparently so she's I'm not well enough to about. respond you know and he's there right. and, and you yet, don't know why and you don't know why and you did make the uh, the conclusion of what the fuck did you do to her, right? And you still don't go over there. Yep. Holy shit. Yeah. Like that is that yeah. is such a I, way I, to show how like selfish how, how selfish is. and yeah. kind of in the shitter Nana is right now. Right. 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 Like that's so yeah. so that's a um that's a fantastic development yes. that is uncomfortable. Right. But it is irrevocably progress. Uh yes. And so as a result of that even though I'm frustrated that she isn't uh -huh. going there, right. I can't truly be upset about that direction for the narrative. No, right? because because it's actually it's, it's actually, actually moving just, things it, forward. It's great, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of times when drama is used for the sake of stalling progress and, right. and halting characterization. And that is and that is what I uh, perceived the end of the episode as being, which is why I really appreciate you clarifying of how it it's still as a result of Takami's claws and everything, but it's mm -hmm. something where. Um, 
Hachi really does doubt herself. Yeah. And so then she can't say it because now right. she feels she feels shamed and guilty and all that stuff. So she mm -hmm. thinks, oh, I must have done something wrong. Yep. And that's why that's why Takumi did all that stuff earlier. Right. That he's trying to basically say, yeah. hey, regardless of who the father is, you're the mother. This right. is your fault. Yep. You did this. Right. And so, so then right when right before she can get any time to think about what he's saying, he uh -huh. cuts it off and leaves. Yep. Like but, but he once did, he but once he like she gets that moment where she actually starts to cling to him, right? Well, well where right. she basically accepts right. what because, he says. Because what he's doing, and this is like this is like textbook um manipulator shit. What he does is he basically dotes on her immediately after she's in shock. So when someone's in shock like that, they're actually a lot more receptive oh, yeah. than you'd think. Because usually you'd think if someone's in shock, they're actually just going to throw everything up in a way. But if they're in shock past a certain point where they can't physically right. respond in the, that way, they're the, in actually a very vulnerable place uh -huh. where the, the uh, kindness or tenderness that you give there can reach deep really quickly. Yeah. And then she goes panicking... I'm floundering. I just need something I need to, something to. to ground exactly. Yeah, yeah. I need something to ground myself right. to, and so and, he offers his hand, which mm -hmm. he knows she's in this state because he's scared the shit out of her. Yeah, with all he this. put her in this. State. Yes, right. Yeah. Like, so right. so it's it's all kinds of fucked. And then yeah. when Nobu gets there, he's um he's just seeing the aftermath. He's seeing the aftermath, but but because of Hachi's shame, mm -hmm. and because maybe a little bit of the of the um immaturity of well both of them but but he doesn't know to specifically ask like were you know uh well were you still seeing him when we were together or something she, like he that did, right he, he did basically say that had you broken up already like that was his well, question no no, no like, right no, no no um yeah yeah no i know that's what he said but what he didn't say was were you were you basically uh were you cheating on him with me or were you cheating on me with him, right? You know, like... Meaning the way that he's saying it? Because he's... Yes, he's, because he's not he's not giving her an actual um, uh, truly concrete thing here. He thinks he is, but because she has been um, so sort of taken apart by Takumi, she's doubting everything. And because Takumi is at the very least confident in basically saying, oh, you know, like he's he's uh, not accepting the breakup, the rejection, right? Well... Um, he is then then she basically is questioning things and then she starts to doubt herself and so she can't actually say no but it's also mixed in with the shame of the fact that oh god i don't want to be in this situation and do you think less of me you know nana isn't here so she must think less of me right all of this stuff when really what nobuo needs to know here is were you specifically still sleeping with him while we were together, right? Is that what was going well, on? That's because not, that's what it seemed like, it, and you're not confirming. Right, right, right. But that's, again, that's not what he's interested in. This is the part that I think is important to, to clarify here. I know that that's a better question to ask, but okay. Takami brought up the thing of, well, no, 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 you mess with somebody else's woman. This isn't a situation of whether I'm cheating or she's cheating with mm -hmm. me. It's that you cheated, like she cheated on me with you. You're that, you're the bad mm -hmm. guy here. So because of his immaturity, he ends up framing it as the, oh, I, I did do that, right? Because you had broken up with him, right? So they're, they're adhering to the cultural, basically, norms of, uh, I'm framing this as a, in, in any situation here, I could tell that you were in love with me. I don't doubt that in any way here, but did you do the culturally uh, acceptable uh, thing of saying, I have broken things off with you via, you know, words or what have you, you know? action what have you right in and some because, truly spelled out way rather right, than just right. don't ever call and me because again. he and because he's specifically asking that which is the only thing i think that he's assuming here i think this is the part that's rather cool is that because he's not asking the other thing here he's not implying that he uh, thinks sure. that she's cheating on him with uh cheating on him with takami okay he's yeah, saying yeah. he's mm -hmm. saying just no we were legit Mm -hmm. talking these words are baseless right you broke up with him you told me you yeah. broke up with him and the thing is is that because of her specific state that she's in but also the shame that she attributes mm -hmm. to herself for the way in which she 
doesn't fully communicate things uh -huh. or the way in which she holds back that little bit or uh, yeah, the, or, or or cuts things off in a uh, right. specific communication sense without actually giving closure. Um, yeah, she sees it as not a breakup that she is someone that cheated. Right, and and, and the thing is, is that it's the um, yeah, and she only sees it in that way because she's vulnerable right now, and Takumi made her doubt well, herself. Well, when, I think I think it exacerbates it, but all along before this, she had thought about it this way. She had seen it as a, oh, I, mm, I but maybe, like immediately I mean, after the thing there, she felt she felt like she wasn't doing it right, and then she just kind of gets the out of sight, out of mind it, and that is able to give her that okay, cool, now everything's great. I'm with Nobuo. It's I mean, it's wonderful. Sure, like. It's, uh, I, I feel like it is more connected to the insecurities that she had with regards to herself and the fact that she, what, that she didn't break up with Takami when she originally, when she first wanted to, right? Like, and sure. because she didn't do it back then, then she's doubting whether or not she, you know, has the strength to fully, you know, have broken up with him, right? She does it in the, in the, the outburst, right? The, the. She just the, called him on the phone the, and said, The bout of courage, Don't come right? over anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're, we're done, right? Well, she um, didn't say we're done. That's the thing. She I, just said, I believe she did. No, she didn't. No. No. That, that's that's the part that I, I, I remember specifically because I knew that there was going to be some part of this that would come back in some way because of the way Takumi kind of was like, huh? What? Like, he, she didn't say we're done. She didn't use any vernacular that was we're breaking up. It was don't come over here anymore. Like, like, like it was a, it was a command of mm. like, stay away. Don't come over here anymore. I can go back and find the, the clip, but basically, um, the part of that is the reason why she puts extra shame on herself is because she's thinking, oh God, this is all my fault. Takami's right. If I didn't just sure. break it yeah. off wholeheartedly, yeah, the, then he wouldn't have come over here and right. been such an asshole. No, it's Takami's yeah. fault. Like the the all the stuff that he says to her, right? The yes. reason like he's absolutely just trying to make her feel shitty about herself yes. because he knows that that's a vulnerability for her. He knows right. that's how he can get to her. Yeah. The thing is is that a lot of the things that he says when he's poking at her weaknesses those are weaknesses of hers. Yes. That doesn't mean they are weaknesses to the degree that he's talking about. He also hasn't seen her recently. She mm -hmm. has been progressing on those weaknesses yep. a lot, mm -hmm. right? Both before she met him and since, you know, she stopped seeing him, mm -hmm. right? Right. So, so, and then on top of that, uh, you know, he is not an unbiased third party. He is absolutely coming into this with an agenda. And mm -hmm. so, you know, you can't just take the things that he says at face value. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, you know, yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't, uh, because she's so down on herself, because her self-esteem is so low, she doesn't properly, well, and also because the thing of her being in shock, yeah, um, she doesn't stand up for herself because she doesn't really know how. And then, yeah, there's, here's an explanation of just, it's your fault. Okay, cool. She can latch onto that. Right. Um, and, and that's, and that's where the, the whole thing of, um, Nana not showing up, right? The fact that the only people that basically interacted in this situation at the apartment were people that were actively involved in the romantic relationship, mm -hmm. you know, thing that's going on. Right. Things would have gone so much Things better if Nana so was much, here. So much better if Nana was there. Because Should she would have been like, no, don't listen to that, you know, fuckwit, you know, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Nana was, <sighs> Nana was, and this is kind of fun. This is kind of fun. Because if you think about this, this is a direct parallel to what happened uh with uh, uh shoji is that she needed help basically from nana to help you know break things off with shoji she needed she needed that supporter basically in that specific instance there right um she didn't have that here and thus um the uh drama of this situation uh got exacerbated yeah um while I don't hold her responsible for anything with what Takami's doing, mm -hmm. um, Nana's not good at breaking up with people. Right, like, like that's not something yes. she likes doing. The, yeah, exactly. The, it's where it's where the the way in which this episode ended can still work, even though at the end of the day, it's a you know miscommunication drama. Basically, is because this is this has been Nana's weak point. 
right. and the, that's, the whole show. Yeah, and that's why I, I, I push back a little bit on the idea that it's miscommunication, is that yeah. we're, you're inferring a little bit that Nobuo was questioning whether or not she, she cheated on him, and that's not it. He's questioning whether or not he was the cheat, basically, and he was the one that was being taken advantage of here. Like, that you, okay. you specifically were with Takami, you never mm. broke up with him, and you decided to basically cheat on him with me. And that difference there is in some ways like really a big deal because then mm. it, and then it would um, it would make all the stuff that happened previously a lie rather than the ah at this moment here Takami came over yeah, and sure. you guys had a, yeah, you guys yeah. had a, a right. hookup or something. Right, right. It, it, it would hurt him way more sure. because then it's the, okay. wow, I'm such an idiot. All that time that you said you, yeah. know, with, you would love me and all this other stuff was was a lie. I was just getting, I, I was just getting used as the, I was getting used again. The other Nana used me basically, uh -huh. you know? Yeah, yeah. And so it's, it's, it's something that I feel like is, uh, and in the same way that that she did when um, right when she tried to get rid of him when he was walking her home and then Takami was there right. right yeah right yeah because at that point she hadn't done her call to Takami right yet um, so Takami thought from his perspective that she was starting to cheat on him mm -hmm. with Nobuo which whatever. It's, yeah. it's neither here nor there. It's not even a part of this episode's really plot. Mm -hmm. But the uh, the idea that then after she uh, called, um, she did believe it as enough of a breakup. Right. But because of Takami's influence here, he's reopened that insecurity of, mm -hmm. oh, I didn't do it right. Because yeah. there's that tiny there's that tiny element of truth to it to her that it's the oh, I should have done it more emphatically. I should have said, literally, I'm breaking up with you, or yeah, right. you know, something the, to that extent. Well, and that's and that's why shoulds are so nasty, right? Because yes. it's the, yes. you know, um, is it a should, or is it a you could have? Well, no, no, no. You know, right? She like, sees it as a should. I'm not yeah, saying yeah, exactly. she should have. I'm no, saying no, right. that's how she sees it. No, 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 exactly. Yeah. Because, because there will always be could haves, right? Of, oh, yes. Of... You know, we could have done something right. better, right? Right. Does that mean that you should have, right? Like, does that mean that that would, or even be reasonable to to expect of yourself at that moment, mm -hmm. right? And so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then we have the Nana bit where Nobuo goes, "Wait, well then, why don't you become the father if you're insisting, you know, so mm -hmm. much?" Which is, although I can't imagine fantastic. feeling any love for Takami's child, and this is the part where it's like. I don't even think Nobu really understands the extra layer to what he said that cuts so deeply for Nana here. Certainly not in the moment. Well, yeah. no, 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 no. I, I don't even think it, I don't even think he could have been thinking about oh, yeah. how this like like sometimes people prep like insults or barbed words to say to people sure. that they've been like thinking about and feeling mm -hmm. and then they like shower thought ah oh, if i this person does that thing to me again i'm gonna bite with this really. yeah yeah i don't think that's what he was doing here nope i think he was saying i can't imagine you feeling any love for takami's child because it's takami's versus i could imagine you probably seeing love for my child right i would love to be able to understand japanese better so i could hear his emphasis on and where which it went, word yeah. and where it uh -huh. went yeah. But I imagine, based on the way that Nobu is characterized, I don't think he knows about her insecurities with regards to maternal love. Sure. I think that while they've been a band for a long time, and he does know her pretty well, yeah. I think there's an I think there's a there's a distinction that's important to make that he did say Takami's child, mm -hmm. and not just I can't imagine you feeling any love for a child. You know? Right. Right. Like, yeah. Exactly. And but she she well, went there. Like, well, which is which is one of the other reasons why it's so great because mm -hmm. this is an example of where you know due to a um it's a form of miscommunication in a way because yes, it is because yeah. he is communicating something to her that goes beyond what he intended right right because he is not aware of her situation right and that is direct and the reason why it works so well is one it's less of a like it's a it's a small degree of miscommunication it's very you know you have to sort of split hairs for that but two 
Nana specifically keeps people at arm's length, so mm -hmm. he has no way of knowing that. And right. but, but the thing is, is that if she had let him in, if she had opened up to more people, if she had not just had people there as her possessions to basically make her feel nice, yeah. but she had actually formed real, like let it be a more real deep bond, he would have known that. And he might not have said that, yeah, right? he might not. You know, like, but the thing is, Sorry, that's not how it went. So he said that. And so, of course, Nana, you know, freaks the fuck out because that's, it, it's it's a, it, you know, in a, in a very real sense, it's a trigger for her, right? Well, like, well right, but this, it's a fun, fun parallel where he accidentally takamied here. He basically said something that internalized, oh, sure. well, not internalized, that um, ended up awakening that shame within her of, I'm not a proper woman. I'm not right. someone that knows how to mm -hmm. woman. And thus, I have to run because what he's saying resonates with my own uh, shame Deep and insecurities. insecurities. Yeah, yeah. So she agrees with him in her mind. Mm. Like she's like, yeah, yeah. that's right. Right. And then because, she runs because which, the thing that he's saying of I can't see you having any love for Takumi's child. Yeah. That's probably right. She probably wouldn't. That doesn't mean necessarily that it's confirming the the deep seated insecurity that you have. Right. right. That's just an example of a situation that lines up with it, right? right? You know. But fuck, that was that was a really like uh really painfully well-written scene because I oh, yeah. feel the progression of how they got to these points where they're saying everything here. Mm -hmm. And then they're just lying like shell-shocked themselves mm -hmm. on the uh on the the waterway walkway over here. Um but the idea that Nobuo is able to kind of steal himself and not fully freak out here, mm -hmm. I think shows that little bit of, he really doesn't doubt Hachi here. Mm. He, he feels more in shock that maybe like something was kept hidden from yeah, him. Yeah, right. This is still a bombshell, you know, right? right? Like, right. yeah. He hasn't, he hasn't turned towards, you know, mm -hmm. uh, lashing out at anybody yet and i feel like that's the fun difference with him and nana in that yeah. case is that nana did because she's maybe leaping ahead because of the implications for her and sure. or and or i and or hachi a mm -hmm. little bit yeah but um yeah and i but but yeah it was, a, it was a really fun way to have a have a scene play out after someone gives the dramatic and right, are right. you the father, you know? Yeah, exactly. And and I gotta say, what you were talking about with Nobu's sort of, uh, you know, ability to take it actually pretty well. I love that mm -hmm. from the standpoint of the thing that Takumi is constantly, like, pushing against him with. Mm, of yeah. the you're not man enough or whatever. No, he actually took that just fine. He's, he's um you know, maybe younger and less experienced than Takumi and maybe oh, even less mature than Takumi, right? Sure. But no, he's doing just great. And so then when he shows up and he doesn't have the grapefruit juice, he has some, you know, snack or candy yeah, or some, whatever. Some right? like either coffee beans or chocolate or right, whatever. Right, yeah, like something, something that she probably would really appreciate most days, right? Right. And Takumi's like, what the fuck is this, right? Yeah, That's... Yeah. I, I, I love that so much because it's, you know, it's even done as like a comedic bit, right? And and almost adds to Takumi's confidence with being like, yeah, I can leave you here because one, I already got my claws in her, but two, I don't have to worry about you. And yet that only comes from the fact that he sees himself in such a um, uh, righteous kind of situation where his he's the only one who can be right. No, there, there is no other there is no other um perspective or approach that needs to be considered right uh. and so you know the fact that he's like ah yes grapefruit juice in this situation right you know sure that might be something that is you know generally helpful with morning sickness sure but the you know the uh the you know feeling behind the gesture of i brought you your favorite thing you know that might not be something that helps here in a physical sense that's entirely lost on him right there's no aspect of what he's doing here that is in any way uh like recognizing nana's feelings from a positive sense only as things that he can then manipulate well yeah because he doesn't care about her right of course yeah. he doesn't right yeah 
He yeah. just he's infatuated and he wants to use her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's 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 it. That's yeah. <laughs> also, something else I have to say from this episode that was such a fantastic way to start it, mm -hmm. starting with the t like musing about the name Trap Nest. Mm. That was fantastic. That Both, was really cool. Especially yeah. with the decision of we're not going to show Hachi for like the first 10 minutes of the episode, right? right, right. So there will be that question in the back of our minds as we're touching on everybody else. Literally and everybody. Ends everybody. Up, and everybody ends even, up commenting on how awful Takami is or, you know, there are different things about even Takami. Even fucking Naoki. I always forget his name. Yeah. Who's, you know, Yasu's friend in, the, in, mm -hmm. in Trap Nest. We even had him and Yasu hang out. And we're like... Wow, we're mm -hmm. going through everybody. everybody. When Shoji and, yeah. and 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 Sachigo gonna show up? At yeah, this exactly, point. right. But it was so great to then have Yasu being like, "Wait, wait, what?" Yeah. And what? so, so the what I'm what I'm still hoping for, even though Yasu wasn't the person at the door, is that Yasu is going to have a um, stern conversation. Yeah, he's going to have a scene in the next episode. I don't know what the context of it will be necessarily. It's tough, though. I don't know who it will be with, but that it will be awesome because Yasu is dad and and you know, <sighs> yeah. someone's stirring some shit with your kids, you know. I mean, but that's the thing. He's not their dad. They're not his kids. Yes, he is. They're adults. No, I and, know. I know. Uh, they're making their own decisions and in a lot of ways Yasu being the good dad here actually shouldn't force anything no but he can absolutely be the checking in and being like hey how are things going that's you know? again the different from forcing things no, and yeah you know, I'm, I'm just making the distinction that uh -huh. um a guy coming in and swooping in and saving hachi is not really what's needed right now no hachi needs to be given space away from takami so that she can breathe and actually like let herself process all the feelings from this and like let it come all out because uh any form of like any form of like like we're we're gonna like i don't know fix this and kind of yeah you but know. but as as a little bit of pushback against that mm -hmm. because she just had takami dig his claws into her mm -hmm. i think she does need to hear the the opposite of that right the the people coming alongside her and basically um you know, like if if she's left alone right now, I think no, she's no, just no. Spiral. Again, again, space from Takami, not space from anybody else. I was meaning space specifically from him. Mm -hmm. As long as other people are there, that's great. Like, right. no, yeah, but, yeah. Not no, saying isolate her. <laughs> no, right. But I, um, uh, there's a, there's this notion that because um, other people can't save you from your situation, that they also can't help you. And that's not true. And in this situation, Hachi does need help. Yes, she still has to be the one to f fix her situation and all that stuff. Absolutely. But yeah, I she just... needs people to come around her and support her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just wasn't making that dichotomy that, that people coming in to save her is different, like you're saying, than people mm -hmm. coming in to help her. Mm -hmm. I just... I think that looking at this from the, the, the big picture perspective, Yasu can't really come in and help. Like, not not really. Like, the, the no? tough part about this, yeah, not really. Like, I feel like the, the biggest kind of, like, uh, maybe maybe it's the, he, he won't in the sense that I, I think most people would want here, is that the kind of thing that would be the most helpful is literally to have just a group hug and everyone mm -hmm. just holds her, right? Yep. That would be wonderful. That's not going to happen, right. probably. Yeah. But the uh, person that I would want around her first would be some combination of any two of the band members, like, in general. Sure. But having a, a person come in and going, I'm going to... I'm gonna tell off Takami. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this stuff oh, yeah, here no, and stuff. No. That just Takami's that won't, not even here anymore. No, I know, but that won't that won't that won't help. That won't no, yeah, save. Because, no, because um, uh, even if they did come in to tell off Takami, right? The reason that that would be um, in any way helpful potentially is not because it will make Takami do anything. All right. It's so that that way he can be called out for the piece of shit that he is in front of Nana, and she can see that, so that that way she. Um, uh, rethinks whether or not she actually wants to listen to the things that he said. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's it. Yeah. 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 I, I definitely do want to have other people around her here. Um, my favorite thing about this episode in that respect is that Nobuo just sits by the bed. He's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
so many people in this instance here will have a person that's emotionally distraught and frustrated and also hurting you yep. in their pain. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very hard to sit there and let them hurt you accidentally because what Nana's doing is is hurting Nobuo. Like Absolutely. It, it is hurting yep. him. And um, what Nobuo's doing as well by being here is helping Nana. Mm -hmm. It's not doing a lot yet, but it absolutely would be way worse if he left after this right here. Absolutely. So the fact yep. that he's here, the fact that they close the episode on a more happy note sure. of then Reira and Shin having their little moment of like, hey, you know, I just finished you know, the love ballad, you know, might yep. be a first draft. It might have the cheesy right. red string of fate stuff and all that. And Shin's like, wait, I don't know what that is, actually. Yeah. I'm, I am really young, by the way. I don't uh -huh. even know what the red string of fate is. Like, mm -hmm. bro hasn't watched a single romance anime, like, nope. ever. <laughs> so, so this is, a, this is a fun little flare on the, oh, even in their fucked up relationship. Right. You know, you can actually be there for somebody and help them through their tough thing, even if you mm -hmm. don't have the tools necessary to right. help because, them. Because if you needed to have all your shit figured out to uh, before you could help anybody else, mm -hmm. then nobody would ever help each other. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, Nana's little monologue at the end. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, what do you think Nana should do here? Um, like what? What do you think Nana will do here? Actually? Well, yeah. So she'll um, go back to Ren because that's where she's staying. Sure. Right? Yeah, and then he might be like, "Oh, I thought you were gonna be staying at Hachi's for a bit," you know. And then maybe she'll talk about it. She probably won't. I mean, I mean, that's, that's the thing I'm curious the, about. She could talk about part of it, right? I think. It, I think it would make sense for her to talk about Takami because it's the you're in the band with him. What the fuck is his deal, right? Maybe, but I, I like she's in such a like runaway state right now. I wouldn't be surprised if she if she didn't bring it up at all. But like, I mean, she has to go home. <laughs> like she has to sleep. Yeah, yeah, and so, so so he might ask. He might ask like, wait, I yeah. thought you were, and she's, mm -mm. you know, just nope, nope. You think she's gonna clam? I, I I think that she will. Um, yeah. That's or at Dang. least that will be the big struggle for her. Sure. Because sure. because what she like yeah. you know as far as what would be best for her right now it would be to um, probably yeah not be by herself but then also uh, introspect a lot you know and to be like okay that's some that is something very uncomfortable that I just discovered about myself in the most uncomfortable way possible probably right right huh yeah. What now? What do so, I do with that? You know, right? Like Yeah. So a while back, Nana made the point about how she's tired of Trap Nest taking things mm -hmm. away from her. Yep. Not people you know, away from the band, not like, you know, like hurting her in a specific way, but taking things and stuff away from me. Right. The idea of basically a possession was stolen from her here. Mm -hmm. I think even in a low place, though, mm -hmm. you get kind of angry about that. Do you think this is the the final nail or the the, the straw that breaks the camel's back of the uh, we're gonna have the actual band rivalry now? Like the maybe because it's been building for so long. The the thing is, so the 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 anger from the spurned possessiveness, basically. Mm -hmm. um, could absolutely lead to that, but first Nana's got to deal with the shame because the shame will absolutely cut the legs out from the anger. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Yeah, if that if the shame's there, I it's no, I I disagree. Shame is a pride thing, so you actually lash out harder. I would say I would say Zuko is the classic example. Shame yeah. fuels anger, like like very much so. But like, well, so so here's here's why I say that. Yeah, because yeah. yes, it totally can. But I think um, uh, anger is the way that you get out. Or not the way. Um, if you are in anger, I don't think you can fully be in shame. That doesn't mean you resolved your shame, but you're 
the, like I feel like the two kind of can't coexist, right? Unless you're talking about just being angry at yourself, right? But if you're talking about anger that then gets like externalized to the outside, I feel like well, the, the the shame's got to be kind of buried at that. Well, point, that's my you point know? is that in some ways not dealt with. Well, but, no, no, but but in some ways that's my point is that because they occupy different territory, mm -hmm. shame absolutely exists at the same time as anger. Anger is an external thing, and shame is an internal insidious thing. So you can absolutely be filled with shame, not aware of it, no, and right. you're acting in anger literally at the same time because it's 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 this insidious thing that makes you. Uh, basically isolate yourself okay. and, and fearful yeah. and we all know the the old so, adage of the dark side and you're right right fear leads to anger anger leads to hate all that stuff yeah yeah so maybe here's the reason why i don't think it'll happen with nana okay not okay. because the shame and the anger can't occupy the same space right but because um the band rivalry is a positive thing for nana and if she's Ooh. in the throes of shame she's not going to allow herself the positive thing of the rivalry Right, so I'm meaning you that know? I'm meaning that you're. I don't think they're in a rivalry right now. No, no, no. So what I'm talking about it's, is not that. I'm not talking about Nana's perceived like good. I'm gonna be stronger mm -hmm. so that I can beat Trap Nest. I'm not talking about that. I'm yeah, talking okay. like shit being flung across the fence. Oh no, yeah, that is ab yeah, That's absolute. <laughs> yes. Right, right. But yes. I'm talking about in a consequential way. There's no shit has been flung yet. No, right. Uh, I'm well, talking like the way you can. Uh, I'm talking like actual, yeah, yeah. like criminal, like potential <laughs> level of right. stuff. Right. The, the way you can tell like, that no I'm shit's gonna assault, been flung yet. I'm going to assault Takami. Like that's well, where I'm talking. Like. Uh, sure. Or in the more uncomfortable way, um, Nana and Ren's relationship is going well right now. <laughs> Like, like that's and and I'm fully serious, right? Like, I get what you're like, saying. Yeah. Like when yeah. when it actually gets bad between the right, bands, right. that's where I think that's the where relationship. It'll hit first. Will, that's where it'll hit first. <laughs> sure. Because because their relationship right now oh. even is a form of Nana reclaiming one of her possessions that was mm -hmm. taken by Trap. And that's Nest. why that's why this episode focused on Ren having the moment with the the guy in the car sure. and being like, talk to me doesn't need people you know yeah, because being unloyal because it's soldiers the, right like because ren basically stepped into the professional zone for a second yeah, even did. though he himself might think that takami yeah he's kind of a piece of shit or right? he's like, you know, at least whatever. overbearing with the yeah yeah exactly things. right but hey no i'm not gonna have any sedition we, in yeah my... yeah yeah we're we're about to go to war if we want to go platinum and all that stuff and whatever we got to be firing on all cylinders tell that to everyone, everyone. you know yeah it's yeah. actually kind of funny to think about that that was the first, like, we're in the moment of a manipulation conflict, mm -hmm. and then this guy comes along and starts trying to manipulate him with the, everyone's saying, fuck those people that say everyone is saying. Like, like yeah. you, guys are, well, you guys are shitty people. It's, like, I mean, like, it's, <laughs> it's basically just the, I don't have the courage to say that I don't like this. Yes. Right? Because, yes. because I, I, could see, yeah. I could see Ren... Um, I could see Ren responding differently if it was something where, sir, I really hate Takami's guts. Right, you know, right. that, that's like okay, sure. But the fact that he conceals it with the everyone means that that's yeah. probably something he would say to other people. It's not something he's yes. specifically confiding in Ren, and so it's no, we got to nip that in the bud. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, d d d terrifyingly painful episode. Yes, I will I not rewatch gets... this episode probably. Even when I go back and rewatch Nana as a show, yeah, this it's... was very uncomfortable. Oh. Um, it almost in some ways, uh, even though last episode was the one where the terror mm -hmm. scene happened, um, this one felt even more gross yes. because it was so much easier to see plain as day what Takami was doing. Whereas in the mm -hmm. previous one, it was kind of a, whoa, that yeah. just happened yeah. all of a sudden. Right, the but this was the build mm -hmm. and it... Yeah. Kinda, we, yeah. we had to stew in, in this one, whereas the Takami stuff in the previous episode was the it was like a clap, terrifying yeah. stinger. Yeah, yeah, clap upside the head kind yeah, of a yeah. thing. You know, uh, when we had, uh, apart from that, a pretty, you know, like mellow emotional episode, episode but, but mellow by yeah. comparison, you yeah. know. 
But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's <sighs> reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.